everyone, I'm Meredith and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you found me and if you're returning, I'm so grateful you've decided to come back and watch more. I love all things luxury. I love luxury shoes, I love luxury handbags, luxury lifestyle and vlogging and if they're things that appeal to you, I hope you'll do me a massive favor and hit that subscribe button down below. Hitting that subscribe button costs you absolutely nothing and means an awful lot to me, so I hope you'll help me out. Today I am doing a video around bags I was influenced to buy. I'm not sure if this was a tag video. I tried to search it through YouTube and lots of YouTubers have done it previously and like years back um, right up till today. So I don't know if this started as a tag video for anyone who's ever done it as a tag video. I apologize if I am stepping on your toes and I have not credited you. Please let me know in the comments if this was your original idea and I can credit you in the description box down below. But from what I could see, what I could find, I couldn't find a specific tag that led back to anyone. So I'm going to run with it for now and hope that I don't offend anyone. So these are bags that I was influenced to buy. We live in a world of influence. We just do. Most of us are influenced in some way by someone at some point. Some of us are influenced by certain people regularly in our life, and that is most certainly me. Um, and I'm easily influenced. Um, and sometimes I need to stop myself and go, no, 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 Meredith, it's just because you're being influenced because you associate yourself with this person. When I go through these bags, you will understand that there are several people on, on um, YouTube that have heavily influenced me and who I align myself with in terms of likes because <laughs> when they buy something, I'm like, oh, I really like that. And I find that that's a common thread with those people. So they have heavily influenced my purchases over the last few years. All right, let's go through my bags and I'll tell you who influenced me and why. So we'll start with this one. This was very early in my YouTube viewing days that I found um, Cindy from A Heated Mess. She's got a great YouTube channel. Um, she's fantastic. I love her style. She bought this bag from Hermes. Um, it is the grooming bag from Hermes and it actually started my Hermes journey. So she unboxed this on her channel and talked about how she was going to use it with her kids and I went, that's a brilliant idea actually. That's fantastic. Um, and I I had two children, so I thought, yep, okay, I can get behind that idea. She went into great detail about this bag, how it's set up, all the fantastic qualities about it, the um, removable pouch inside, it's pretty waterproof. This is made to be an actual grooming bag for horses, so it's very, very hardy um, and will wear really well. Um, so I toddled myself into Hermes and said, I'm looking for this bag, and lo and behold, that started my whole journey. <laughs> and here we are sometime later with quite a few bags. Um, so this was the first thing I ever purchased from Hermes. Um, I also have the gray one. I bought them both at the same time. And I was influenced by Cindy from A Heated Mess because she talked about it so highly and I could most certainly see the um, good qualities in the bag and how I could use it too. Um, and yeah, I'm happy to have it. I really love it as a bag. It's fantastic for when we go out with the kids and I've got to carry quite a few things, picnics and that kind of stuff. This is great for that. So I was influenced by Cindy from A Heated Mess. And I will link all of these channels down below so that you can find them. So that was the first um, instance of being influenced. Um, the rest will all just, I, I can't put them in order. It just, it happened. So the next bag that I will talk about, but is this one. So this is my Capucines in the MM size. It is in um, black box calf leather and it has a tortoiseshell handle on it. It is stunningly beautiful as a bag and I love it. And this was all Romina Rose May's fault. Not really, it's not her fault. She just bought one and I liked it. Um, so she unboxed this on her channel. She talked about it on her channel, trying to find one. And I went, oh my goodness, it's stunningly beautiful. This black box calf is amazing. It's a beautiful leather. And I text my sales associate as soon as she talked about it on her channel. And I said, I need to own one of these. And he had it in store. It was the only one. And we basically had to fight um, to keep it as mine because he had it and I was going to pay for it and we had credit from something else. There's a whole story behind it. I can't remember it all now. But 
um, I know that in the time it took us to complete this transaction, which was like 24 hours, there were at least three other inquiries about this exact bag and people who wanted it. And they were going, no, 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 it's for Meredith. You've got to just wait. So I was lucky that my sales associate fought and fought hard for this to keep it as mine. But yeah, it's just a stunningly beautiful bag. I love the size of it. It is an MM. It's not, it is heavy. It is most certainly heavy as a bag because of the type of leather it is. Um, that's just a fact. Um, it does come with a strap as well. But yes, Romina Rose may unbox this or talked about it. She showed it on her channel and I just thought it was stunningly beautiful and I really wanted one. So that goes back to her. The next bag was influenced by two of my major influences in my life. This one came from both Dale from Tales Addiction and Amelia from Amelia Rose's Closet. So they both have this bag. They have it in um, a multicolor. I feel like Dale has sold hers now, but Amelia Rose's Closet, she's still got hers. So they have it in many different colors. Each panel is a different color and I really wanted one of those. But by the time I saw it on their channels, you couldn't get those anymore. I just, I couldn't track one down. So pink is my favorite color. So I went with the pink and I'm not sorry now. I really do love this. Um, it's not super practical. It's great for concerts and that kind of stuff, which is when I use it. Um, and it's a Gucci super mini marmont. I want to say I'm pretty sure that's correct. It's my only Gucci handbag. 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 <laughs> talking to myself now. I am fairly certain that this is my only Gucci handbag. Can someone correct me if I'm wrong on that? <laughs> you guys, I'm at the point where you guys know my collection better than I do. Um, so yes, I bought this because I was heavily influenced by them. They loved theirs so much. I really wanted the same one as them. I couldn't get it. So I went with the pink, um, but it is a beautiful, beautiful handbag. It's super easy to use. It's fun. Um, yeah, I, I have considered moving it on, but I actually really love mine. So I think I'm going to keep it for a while yet. Um, yeah, super simple to use. So that one was influenced by those two lovely ladies. And I can honestly say they both have many influences in my bag room. Yes, they do. Moving on. This one. So... This is the Chanel mini rectangle in this raspberry color. It is, I feel like it's from the 20 something collection, 20p maybe, I don't know. It's the 20 something collection. Um, and it is in a chevron leather color. It's stunningly beautiful as a color. I originally saw this, um, the first time I saw it was from Amelia, Amelia Rose's closet. But I know she got it from um, Isabel Styles. So either one of those could have influenced me. I watch both their channels. So yeah, I, but I saw it on Amelia's channel first and then went back and found it on Isabel's channel. So this is just a beautiful, beautiful bag. Um, I have to say I'm heavily influenced with Chanel a lot. Um, the other like Louis Vuitton I'll buy on my own. I don't need anybody to influence me there. Um, and Dior is pretty much the same. Fendi, yeah, Dale's got a little bit of influence over me there. Um, but for the most part where I feel I am most influenced is Chanel because I'm just not across the collections like other people are. And I see things on their channel and I'm like, oh, wow, I really want one of those. And yeah, so <laughs> this is definitely one of those. So I had, I'm fairly certain Rod from the Luxe Theory got me this. He got me a lot of my Chanel, um, but I really wanted this color and this finish and I love Chevron and yeah. So I will blame Isabel from Isabel Styles through Amelia and Amelia Rose's closet for that one. All right, next up we have this one. This one is influenced by uh, Jasleen from The Real Shakeen, and she's just had a beautiful baby girl. Congratulations to her. She is so beautiful. She's on. She's got pictures up on Instagram, um, and I'm so happy for her. And it, she's just yeah. Remy is beautiful. So congratulations, ja congratulations, Jasleen. Um, but this bag was influenced by her. I saw her on one of her vlogs in Paris when she was there and she was carrying this bag and I thought it was 
stunningly, stunningly beautiful. It's in this black and white tweed pattern and it's got tiny little Chanel ribbons all through it. It is so, so beautiful. I do know that Amelia from Amelia Rose Closet also has this one. She and I could almost almost share a wardrobe if not for the fact that she loves orange and I do not but otherwise Amelia and I could almost share a wardrobe um but this one was influenced by Jasmine from the Real Chicane and it's just a beautiful bag it can get grotty because of you know the black and white pattern and you've got to be careful with some of the ribbons that they don't pull this is not a bag that you want to wear a whole heap um although Jasmine did travel with hers and hers has held up really well but i just love this bag and this was rod at the luxe theory i'm sure got this for me but it's just an absolutely gorgeous bag and i love it all right the next bag <laughs> this one is all amelia from amelia rose's closet so this is the um rose gold mini in the chevron it's in a caviar leather which is fantastic i want to say it's a 17 something don't even ask me on this one i've got no clue in the world but i feel like this is maybe a 17 something 17 18 i don't know chanel i'm terrible with um but this rose gold i saw this on amelia and i was like oh my goodness i have to own that this i paid a lot of money for because it was at an absolute premium but i didn't care i had to have this and this one because it is in this caviar leather and it is almost a neutral it is almost a neutral as far as i'm concerned well it most certainly is in my wardrobe i took this to new york with me i traveled with it i had no problem with it I've got no color transfer whatsoever. It traveled beautifully and it's great because it goes with so many things because it is almost a neutral. I call it an interesting neutral. So it's neutral enough to go with a lot of stuff, but it's still interesting and people notice it. So that's why I call it an interesting neutral just my term. Um, but I love this bag. So like I said, Amelia and I could almost share a wardrobe. She often unboxes things and I go, well, she should have just bought two because I now need to go get one. We have very, very similar tastes when it comes to bags. And this was one of those that she had it. And I was like, I need to own it. Um, but I love this bag. All right. And the last one I'm going to do is this one. And this one was all Dale from Dale's Addiction. Now, there are many other bags in my collection that I could pull out and go, well, that was Dale's fault and that was Dale's fault and that was Dale's fault. And in fairness, I could do that with Amelia Rose too. That was Amelia's fault and that was Amelia's fault. But um, this one is the one that I always tie to Dale so closely. She unboxed this on her channel and I almost died, like died dead. <laughs> Um, I know Mel in Melbourne also unboxed it on her channel, but I saw it on Dale's channel and I thought it was so, so stunning. I tracked this down. I had to have this. Um, and then it kicked off a whole obsession for these bags and I now have five of them, I want to say. Um, so yes, it was definitely an obsession, but Dale unboxed this and I just thought it was beautiful. Dale and I also have very similar tastes with some things, but probably not as close as Amelia's taste to me. Dale has things that I look at and go, it's nice. And I have things that I have. And she looks at and goes, that's nice. Um, which is what friendship is, people. Friendship is support no matter what. Um, but there, but when we are on the same page, we are so on the same page that we have the same things. And this was one of them. So it's a beautiful, beautiful Dior bag and I love it. And I do not regret my obsession with these wicker bags. I have not purchased the latest one there is a trip coming up. I am focused on the trip. It's all about the trip. So I have not purchased the latest one that came out, although I do like it an awful lot. So we shall see what Paris yields for me. Um, I have gotten a wicker bag home from New York before and that was painful. So I imagine trying to do it from Paris is going to be just as painful, but you do what you got to do to get the bags home. But yes, I blame Dale for this and the subsequent four that came after it. But it was well worth it. 
So they're all the, they're not all the bags. They are seven of the bags that I was influenced to buy by other people here on YouTube. I could have gone on and on and on because I am easily influenced, but that does not make them any less loved in my collection. Um, I think you gravitate to watching people who share um, similar tastes to you. And you, and you will watch people who are very different to you. I think that's how you grow as a person, by what by looking at what people who have similar tastes buy and going, oh, okay, yep, I can definitely see how that would work in my collection. And then watching people who are way at the other end of the spectrum and suddenly you go, oh, that's really good. I actually like that. And then you evolve as a luxury buyer or a luxury collector in my, um, in my instance. So yeah, I really enjoy watching, um, you know, Amelia from Amelia's Closet and I watch Dale religiously and those ladies often unbox things that I love and then I go buy. But I also enjoy all of you out there who create content around things that I wouldn't normally buy, but it's fun to watch. And sometimes it just broadens my horizons a little bit, which I think is really good for me too. <laughs> But will I continue to be influenced? Yeah, forevermore, forevermore. That is life for me. I am happy to be influenced. Show me what you got. Let me see if I, if I like it. I hope you've liked today's video. It was a little bit different, but I, um, I thought it was a little bit of fun. And if you're a content creator out there, then why not wade into this? It looks like it's been around forever. And it's fun to talk about who influences us, influences us and how. Um, all the content creators I've talked about today will be linked down below. Please go show them some love. Um, we can always use more subscribers. It's how we keep creating content. If you've liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does mean a lot to a content creator when you hit that subscribe button. Please also hit the little bell notification so you know when I've uploaded videos, which is usually three times a week. I'll also throw up my Instagram handle for you so you can come follow me over there. I put lots up in real time, lots around my collection and my day-to-day -day life. So please come follow me over there. I hope wherever you are in the world today, you are having a fabulous day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.